Are you looking for more ways to bring in customers to your barbershop? Now tell me if any of these methods sound familiar. Passing out business cards, posting on Instagram every day, giving away free haircuts, joining a bunch of networking groups. Now, they all do work to a certain extent. You are able to bring in new customers using these strategies. The only issue is, is this is what every barbershop is doing. And if every barbershop is doing the same exact thing, the only difference is price. It's almost a race to the bottom on who's the cheapest in the market. And that's not a sustainable way to run a business. So what do we have to do? We got to be different and we need to stand out. My name is Mike Joseph, founder of Visual Media Marketing, the number one agency for barbershops. And if you're looking to expand your reach, bring in more customers, and make more money while doing so, then watch this video. I'm gonna be sharing with you 11 marketing tips, strategies, and ideas that you can start to implement into your barbershop today. And number one, running Facebook and Instagram ads. If you've been following me for a while, you knew for a fact this was making it on my list. The main reason why is because when you compare it to print advertising, TV promo, it's a lot more cheaper and it's a lot more effective than running any of those traditional formats. Now, another reason why I stand so strongly or I'm so passionate about you got to use Facebook and Instagram ads is because you're able to put your content in front of your ideal customer. It, it, for example, for example, if the ideal customer for your barbershop is a working professional male between the ages of 22 and 55 who live and travel through Boston, you can literally put your ads right in front of them. So if you're not running ads yet, do so now because you're doing yourself, your barbershop, and your potential customers a huge disservice for not giving them the opportunity to see your brand. Number two, video marketing. See, videos are crushing it online. They're much cheaper to advertise than pictures on Facebook and Instagram, and they're just able to reach a lot more people. Creating videos inside your shop that showcase the barbers, the clients, and the culture of the shop really help differentiate you from all the other shops in your city or town. Right, so you gotta think about it like this. A picture speaks a thousand words, a video 10X is that. Now, your videos, they don't need to be high production. You can definitely do them with a smartphone, get a good quality out of a smartphone. Uh, if you have the professional equipment or you have the budget for it, then do it. A couple shop owners I know, what they do is they make a few deals with their existing clients who are videographers and will exchange haircuts or a discounted rate in order you know, to get uh, videos out of that videographer. So do videos, do them frequently because they showcase your culture, they showcase the experience, they showcase why someone should go to your shop versus Joe Schmo down the street. And number three, SEO. Now, if you're not familiar with what SEO is, it's search engine optimization. In layman's terms, it just means it's the, what's the likelihood of someone being able to find you. Building your SEO means you're making it much easier for somebody to find you ideally your potential customer. So how do you build your SEO? You can, do, you can start with the basics like setting up your, your business on Google page, creating a Facebook business page, Instagram business page. The, the idea is the more information that's out there about your business online, the better your SEO is. So if you're sharing blogs, if you're posting every day, if your website link is on all your social media profiles, if you're on all the social media profiles, all this is gonna bump your SEO. And what happens is if somebody searches barbershop near me, your barbershop is now more likely to show up, right? So that's how you boost your SEO. It's very important if you're trying to get higher rankings on Google, Bing, YouTube, Yahoo, all these search engines, people are actively searching for your service. And if people are actively searching for you, you gotta be there for them to find you. Number four, having a nice professionally done website. Having a website will definitely separate you from all the other shops in your area. The only thing you might be thinking is, hey, I have a booking site or I have a booking software. Why not just use that? I'm not against it, I'm 100% for using online booking softwares, but when it comes to branding your business, branding your shop, separating yourself from all the other guys out here, I'm definitely gonna recommend that you get a website because it's, it, it's gonna showcase your brand. You see, the difference when you use a booking software, let's say Booksy for example, the difference is if a customer clicks on that, it also is gonna showcase the other barbers in, in, in that area or who are using Booksy. Another downside is, is it's not building the brand of your barbershop, it's more building the brand for Booksy, right? So we want people to remember your barbershop, not Booksy the app. Now, if you're at a time right now in your business, you don't have a huge budget, or you don't have the time to learn how to code and create your own website, that's perfectly fine. There's a free website builder provided by Google that you can use and implement right now today. It takes less than 10 minutes to create a website on there. All you gotta do is add your services, your pictures, your about me, some business information, and boom, your website's out there. The only thing is, is, is it a permanent solution? Hell no, I do not recommend that you use it for the life of your business. I recommend using it as a temporary option just to help build SEO, build your brand presence online, 
in the event that someone searches you, they will find you. You'll notice that if you Google barbershops near me, you'll see a list of barbershops and more than half of them will not have a website on there. So again, we're talking about how do you separate yourself from the competition? How do you separate yourself from all the other shops? Have a website, makes it much more easier for you to be found online. Google will push your business above the person who does not have a website because Google wants to, to cater to the customer experience. If they'd rather send that potential customer to someone who has all those online assets versus somebody who doesn't who just has a directions button in a call now and number five discounts now I know what you're thinking oh but if I give a discount they're going to bring cheap customers if I give a discount uh, I'm, I'm just competing with everyone else I get it right you don't I'm not saying let's give discounts all year round I'm saying let's give discounts to acquire a new customer there's a difference there's a difference from just discounting your service just for the hell of it and there's a difference when you're discounting your service to acquire a new customer as part of your marketing strategy right now most people when you think discount they're not thinking of the bigger picture here as a business owner we know that we if, if your service is good right if you can stand by your service if you stand by your skill level you stand by the skill level of your staff and you know that anyone who comes to your shop isn't going to want to leave it's okay to give a discount to a first-time customer the discount could be five dollars off first time visit 10 percent off whatever it is whatever whatever numbers make most sense for your barbershop the idea is we bring them in, they sit in your chair, you give them absolutely the best service they ever had, you treat them like they're your last customer because you want you want, you want want them to come back because that's where you're really gonna see your profit. See, most customers who go to the shop, they're going every two to three weeks to get a cut. Now, if they are, and you know if you got a new customer, they're most likely gonna follow that same pattern, it's okay to give them a discount on the first visit because you know you're gonna get them on that second, that third, that fourth. You're gonna make your profit, you're gonna make your money back. And even at that, Right, we got a new customer. The next thing is, is we're able to tap into their network of, of, of influence, meaning their friends, their family members. We're able to tap into that network. If they're part of any sports team or work clubs or anything like that, we're able to, you know, they might refer them to you. So even giving a five dollar discount, like that, it's very easy to turn that to 100, 200, 300, 3,000. And another part of, or another tactic behind giving discounts is I wouldn't, now if we're talking about just to your all clients, right? If we're not talking about bringing first first time customers, the second option is giving discounts on the slowest days of the week. Now I say this for a couple of different reasons. You don't wanna give a discount on days that you're already busy, like Saturdays, Fridays. I mean, you, you're packed already. You don't need to bring in customers for those days. The days you're probably slow are Tuesday and Wednesday. So what do we do? Let's give incentives to bring people in, get them in the habit of coming in the middle of the week and make it a habitual thing. Which leads me to number six, referral marketing. Now, obviously you can do the easiest way, right, is asking your clients right in front of you as you're cutting them, hey, do you know anyone else who might need a cut? But what I'm suggesting is offering some type of incentive or having a referral program inside your barbershop. Meaning, you can tell your customer, hey Joey, if you refer to me five people on your basketball team, I'll give you a free haircut. Or every referral you give me is gonna be five bucks off of your haircut, which is perfectly fine. Because again, you know what the lifetime value is of your customer, you know how many times these customers are gonna be coming back, you're gonna make your profit off of that little discount right you're telling me if you if you gave five bucks off of every referral that this guy brought you in right after five referrals that one person's getting a free haircut right which let's say it costs 25 bucks but you got five people who came into your shop 25 50 75 100 125 dollars you made for giving up 25 dollars 25 dollars for 100 bucks 125 yeah i think that makes sense and number seven, getting positive reviews. Now, if you're not asking your customers to give you a positive review online, you're doing yourself, the community, your barbers, your staff, you're doing them all and your potential customers all the service. Because when you're getting positive reviews or when you're asking for them and you're getting them, it does a couple of different things. For starters, it helps with your SEO. The more people are talking about your brand online, the more likely your brand is gonna show up on the search results when it comes to Google, um, Yelp or any of these other search engines. Again, getting these recommendations on Facebook is another great way to, to bring in more business or to get your eyes seen by more people. Because when somebody or when a client reviews your business on Facebook, percentage of their friends are gonna see that, right? They're gonna see that. And that's again, more visibility, better for SEO. Another part that getting positive reviews does is it gives you third party credibility. Right? It's one thing for me to say, hey guys, look at me, I look at my business, we have the best haircuts, we give the best shades, we do the best this and that. Every business says that. So what's gonna separate you? 
your customers, right? Your customers who are praising you, who are going online and saying, hey, these guys are stand-up guys. Hey, she came in and gave me a haircut and she was great. Those positive reviews are really gonna speak volumes. They're gonna speak a lot farther, they're gonna reach a lot more people than when it's you saying, oh, hey, look at me, look how great we are, right? Every barbershop is talking about how great they are. Is every barbershop, do all of their customers praise them? Are all of their customers leaving them positive reviews? No. That's not, and that's one sure way to separate you from all the other shops in your area. And number eight, text message marketing. Now, if you're not familiar with text message marketing, I'm pretty sure you've probably seen them on TV or maybe on some print advertisements or even online, right? It'll say something like, text 20 to 4949 to receive 20% off, right? A lot of people are running these kind of ads and the thing is, is that they're working. That's why a lot of people are using them. You normally see them being done by either franchises or big brands. I'm telling you, you, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing this for your barbershop. It's a great way to acquire new customers and it's a great way to track a lot of any print advertisements you're doing. Let's say, for example, you're a real big fan of the old school, right? You like being in front of people handing them business cards. On that business card, yes, it has your business information, but now you can say, hey, text 20 to 4949 to get 20% off. And guess what? You now are able to see how effective these business cards are because people who are texting that number, you'll now have a list of all the people who opted in. So this is a great way to track results for any of your marketing campaigns, whether you're running ads on Facebook, Instagram, whether you're asking for referrals or whatever it is, it's a great way to track results, especially when it comes to traditional or print advertising because you know, you, saw, you could have given someone a business card and you don't know if they came in. You don't know if that business card is actually on the floor of their car. But if you had a call to action that said, text this code to get this discount, and you get alerted every time that code is put, that, that code is sent to that number, you're now able to track results. And again, it's a great way to reach a lot of, a lot much larger audience, a great way to track results. And again, not a lot of barbershops are doing it. It's a great way to separate yourself from everyone else. We actually tested this with one of our clients, and it did wonders, right? So we do a lot of email marketing, and we noticed we, we know that we ran one promo to get a discount on the middle of the weekdays on tuesdays and wednesdays so we, we did an email blast to our current clients and then we did a text message blast the email blast was sent to a little over a thousand people 47 people clicked on the link okay email as we know that the open rates aren't as high as they used to be we did text message and we sent it to about the same amount of lists and we got over 200 clicks to the link to book an appointment 47 200 clicks to book an appointment. It, it just shows you how much more powerful text message marketing is and how much more relevant it is in today's time. And number nine, online booking. Now, if you're an old school barbershop, if you're like, no, I'd rather be on the phone, I like writing things down, more power to you, God bless you, I wish you, the, you, I wish you and your business the best of success. But what we've seen are the barbershops that are scaling, that are opening up multiple franchises, they all have some form of online booking because online booking is great, is a great asset to any marketing strategy. You can track how many appointments you're getting from certain social media channels. Some softwares are even able to tell you how many new customers you're getting versus returning and how often these people are coming after their initial visit. So it's a great way to track and gauge how, how successful some of your marketing campaigns are. And another thing is, is that it's just more convenient for the customer. Most people, when they want to book an appointment, they don't want to deal with someone over the phone. They'd rather just do it right on their phone from texting, right? They'd rather be able to hit a few buttons and click, click, they got an appointment. And the other thing that it helps with is, let's say, you know, you're, you guys close at six, but it's eight o'clock and I want to book an appointment. Who am I going to call? Am I going to be bothering you when you're out here with your family or out eating with friends? You want to get texts from your customer? No, you want to actually enjoy that time. Having an online booking software helps save you that time because if, if I need to get an appointment, all I got to do is click a few buttons on the app. I'm not talking to anybody. It's completely automated, meaning people who want to book an appointment with you, but it's after business hours and they can't get a hold of you. They can just go right to your software, pick a day and time that works best for them. Again, it's a game changer and it's a great way to automate automate your business. Number 10, customer retention promos. So there's a lot of different promotions you can run when it comes to building customer retention. If you're not familiar with what retention means, it's just the ability on how, how often you're able to get a customer to come back after their initial visit. So once you have an idea of what that is, then you want to improve it. And there's a lot of different ways you can improve it, improve your retention. I'll talk about one right now, and I'll link a video that kind of explains all the other ways that uh, other strategies that we use to better retain our customers. But one that you can definitely start implementing right now is having a loyalty program. A 
lot of these big franchises are using it. A lot of online booking softwares actually provide a loyalty program. So definitely do your research and finding out which one's better for you. A loyalty program is just rewarding and incentivizing people on repeat visits, right? A lot of restaurants do it. Like every ninth plate, every 10th plate, you get a free one, you get one for free. Same thing with the barbershop. Every five cuts or every 10 cuts you do, you get a discount or you get one for free. Great way to keep people in the habit of coming back to your barbershop and spending more money with you. And number 11 is outsourcing your marketing, right? As entrepreneurs, business owners, right? We're all wearing many hats, right? If you, you own a shop, you're doing the marketing, you're handling the finance and you're handing, handling the hiring process, the staffing for your barbershop. You're doing so much. And as entrepreneurs, like we feel like we should, right? But when you're doing that, you're not really working on your business, you're working in your business. It's almost like you created a whole job for yourself, right? Yeah, you can, you can leave when you want, but when can you really leave? The barbershop can't make money without you there, it's not a business, it's really a job that you own. So if, if, if you're into that, if you're in that situation, I highly recommend that you start delegating tasks because by delegating at least the marketing aspect, because we know marketing is very overwhelming. So I recommend that you find an agency or an advertising company, or maybe a freelancer that can kind of come in and help take some of the, the, the workload off of your back. Someone who's an expert in their field, someone with a proven track record, someone that, that knows what they're doing. And, and again, when it comes time to interviewing different agencies to work with your barbershop you definitely want to see what success they may have had with other shops like your own right is one thing to work with a marketing company who right if you can choose a marketing company that's worked with car dealerships are they the best bet to come in and help you with your barbershop or would you rather work with a marketing company that's work with barbershops hairstylists and hair salons or all facets of the hair industry right you want to find someone who knows your business model so you don't got to reteach them everything that you already know already about your business now that wraps it up for today's video thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video if you like what you saw hit the like button drop a comment tell me what you learned tell me what you want to learn so i know what my next video should be about um let me know what's on your mind where are you are you just opening up a shop are you a barber that's renting right now are you renting a suite are you just getting your foot wet into this business world let me know where you are so i can make more videos tailored to your journey again thank you so much for for watching this video hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content hit the notification bell i'll see you on the next video take care